peace and blessings hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing well we are working on a moonstone ring today so let's check it out all right so i've already cut my little bezel wall i don't know if the moonstone is going to show you how lovely look how lovely this moonstone is this is my life guys i get to do this <laughs> so we're making a setting and my client wants some infinity symbols incorporated maybe all the way around the stone so i have this wire that i'm going to see how small this is 20 gauge copper i want to see how small i can get them and get some formed and you know i'm gonna kind of play with it so once i get some progress made i'll show you okay so this is where we're at right now and i like it it looks fancy but what i want to do to make sure it's a great fit is go ahead and finish this bezel wall up get it soldered in the correct height and size and all that and then put this all back together and see what it looks like then so i'll come back and show you okay peeps oh sorry y'all i got my phone on okay here we are so far i don't know why i have this here i'm gonna cut a piece of this to be the back plate but i just wanted to show you guys this is how it's going to look. So I have the bezel wall, how I like it. And it's it kind of looks lacy or fancy. I am going to file these just a little bit. Make them look a little bit more neat. They, um, they're supposed to be, you know, like little infinity symbols going around. So I just wanted to show you this. And then I'm going to solder this all down onto a back plate and saw it out. And then clean that up and make the ring band so i'll come back and show you guys later peace okay pretty <clears throat> i hope you guys can hear me um i have an air conditioner now because like it was unsafe work conditions up in here <laughs> if i could be honest like i worked i've always worked in the garage wherever we move you know we are or we were a military family and uh this actually you know what i worked in the, like a side part of the kitchen in lamore where i first started learning metal smithing and then some of my stuff was outside but i think i may i mainly worked inside but then in san diego i was outside the whole time in the garage most of the time with the garage closed this is not San Diego. This is Texas. And it is hot. So, I have been like, I've still been getting my orders out, but I'm not able to like really sit and think or create or, you know, clean. Like, I need to get the studio together um, so I can start back doing my live sales and stuff. And I haven't been able to do much. I just run in here, finish orders run that I have to do that are already paid for and run back out so anyway I hope you guys can hear me I said a lot of stuff but I was also filing this while I was talking to you so she asked for infinity signs and if you look closely you can see some of them are like perfect infinity signs and some of them are broken up I like that I want I, I like because those look a little more organic to me so I hope she likes that too I kind of try to follow the grooves um, so you can see the back plate is like bumpy on the side so I'm loving this so far uh, what I did for the ring band was I just took some of my six gauge half round wire um, I annealed it, which just means heating it up so that it can soften up. And then I hammered it to make it just uh, flatter and a little bit wider because I think that this will really look 
pretty with a wide band. Keep in mind, I have not straightened this uh, this up at all. I just hammered it. So it will be straight, of course. But what do you guys think? I think that that's a nice thick band for this ring. So I'm going to go ahead and work on, uh, you know, straightening out and forming the band, filing it and stuff. And we'll come back and solder everything together. And then we'll be done. I'm excited. We'll be back. Peace. Okay, family. So here's my ring band. Looks good. Nice and even. It's flat here. So that I can solder it here on the back. That would be beautiful. I think it's going to be beautiful. Bam. So let me get this soldered and tumbled and all that stuff. And I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like at the end. But I think it's looking good. Pretty excited. so far this is like out of the pickle and been filed a little bit trying to clean up solder and stuff so I'm gonna go over it with my steel wool and then I'm going to use my brass brush and my flex shaft to kind of shine it up some and clean it up and then I'll be able to get a good look if anything else needs to be cleaned up and then we're almost to the tumbler so be back to So here I am just using my setting tool to set the stone. Uh, you have to push in and then kind of down on the stone. Hopefully that makes sense and you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. This is one of my favorite parts because it means that I'm almost done and I get to see what everything looks like uh, once it is together. I'm not sure I've showed you guys this before, so I thought it'd be cool to add this part to the video. I hope you guys enjoy it.
Thank you.